YouTube, Bad Cave Comics, here to do a video on things to consider when having a comic book graded. Now this pretty much isn't for your hardcore collector or your old school collector who is pretty much familiar and experienced in the grading. It's more for your novice collector or your new collector who is considering sending a book to have graded. Now for most of the comic community we know the three major grading companies and that of course is CGC which definitely is, is considered the top dog. Then we have CBCS, if you can see that, and we also have PGX. Now to start this video off, I'm not here to tell you who you should send your comics to. That's a decision totally up to you. Each of them I think definitely serves a purpose and belongs in the collecting industry, comic collecting industry. Some offer different services than others, and I, I've sent books to all of them for different reasons. So that's definitely something that you, uh, a decision you're going to have to make on your own. With that being said, I'm making this video to possibly help you make a decision whether you should send a comic in for grading or not. Now, I'm not going to go into all the different options that all these companies provide. It would just be too long a video. You're going to have to do your own research and see which company provides which service. Obviously, they all, you know, offer grading. So if you're a new collector and you're considering sending a book in to have graded, I feel the first and most important consideration that needs to come into mind is if you really want to have that comic graded. And that is for your own reason and your own reason only, no matter what the value is. And we'll get into that as the video goes on. But for an example, I have Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man, and Wolverine, Punisher War Journal, number 6, and also Marvel Comics Presents, Weapon X. Now, all three of these books are not what you call super key, high value dollar comics. The reason why I, I sent these books in First of all, the one straight in front of you, Punisher War Journal, that is just a cover that I have always loved ever since it came out. So that was the main reason why I sent that book in to have graded. No other reason. And of course, I wanted a 9.8. And that brings up another point that you need to consider when having a book graded is that comics condition something you're going to be happy with. But the main reason these three books I've had graded were because I just love the covers of all three of these. And that's pretty much it. For no other reason really. Except, of course, wanting to preserve the comic itself. So I think that's pretty much the most important decision. Is if it's something you want to have graded. For your own reason and your own reason only. Alright, moving on. I'm going to slide a few of these out of the way. And 
slide this one in there. And the reason why I chose Hulk 181 for this video, it's not to, I don't know what some people consider flexing my muscle. I chose Hulk 181 is because whether you're an old collector or a brand new collector, this is a book that you're going to be familiar with. Mainly because it's the first appearance of Wolverine. It's a highly sought after book and it does hold and have some value. So most of your collectors, old and new, are going to know what this book is. That's the main reason why I chose this. So let's get into another reason why you might have a comic graded or considering is preservation. So when you're when you consider a book like Hulk 181, that's definitely something that is in your collection you want to preserve and protect from any further damage, no matter what the condition. So that's definitely a book like that something I would send in to have graded which obviously I did now I kinda wanted to get into a little bit of if your comic is worth sending in to have graded well that all depends that depends on if it's a comic you want to have graded and you're gonna be happy with the grade if maybe possibly you're just putting it up for display purposes you want to protect it and protect the value of it whether it's worth a dollar or a thousand dollars so that decisions up to you but if you're looking to flip a comic that's when a bunch of doors can open up as far as a um, bunch of decisions to make number one of course would be condition and the reason why I chose these two is because Punisher War Journal, number six, which is the first meeting between Punisher and Wolverine. So that is, you know, pretty significant, I think, in my comic world anyway. To most of the world, it doesn't mean much because this book you can pick up for a dollar to five dollars all day long. Graded, you might be able to pick it up between I would say 30 and 50 bucks, which isn't like a high dollar comic. It, that, that's not a lot of money to spend for a comic if it grades a 9.8. So that kind of leads me into, is this book really worth having graded? It all depends. If you want to resell it, you can pick it up cheap. If you get a 9.8, sure. You can put it on eBay, Facebook, Instagram, whatever your preference, and probably make 20 bucks off of it, 30, maybe a little more. But that's where you got to really consider condition because a 9.6 you're most likely are would be lucky to recoup your money back for the Punisher War Journal number 6. So that's definitely a decision you got to consider. On the other side of that, Hulk 181, of course, depending on what you pick the book up for, you're most likely going to be able to make money, no matter what the grade, if you have that book graded. So that's kind of the difference between making a decision whether to have a book graded or not. It could definitely come down to key issue or non-key issue. Another option, which I believe, <clears throat> excuse me, all three companies offer is pre-screening. And you could set your pre-screening grade. So let's say you send in a handful of books and you only want 9.8. They will kick back Anything that won't make a 9.8 for a small charge, of course, but it's way less expensive than having the book graded and not getting the grade you want. 
So that's another option to think about. I've seen a lot of questions on YouTube whether I should have a common grade or not. Well, ultimately, that decision's up to you. If it's something you want to have graded and why you want to have that graded. Is it just sentimental value and you want to preserve it? Or if it's something you want to resell? Which, both cases, there's definitely decisions to make. The end decision, though, obviously is up to you. I'm just trying to give you a few things to consider before you make that decision. Because it can get a little pricey depending on, once again, what comic company you go with, what comic book you're going to have done, or how many submissions you're going to send in. Now I'm going to get into a little bit about if you're looking to flip a book as far as um, a key issue or a not key issue. <clears throat> In my opinion on, let's say, a key issue, you definitely have to consider that um, sometimes having a key issue graded can hurt you as far as retail sale. I don't know if too many people consider that, but it definitely can. Let's say you had this Hulk 181. You look at it like this one here, okay? which actually graded, like I said, a 6.0. But when you look at it, all right, it presents way better than a 6.0. It presents, I would say, at least a 7.5. So if you were to sell that ungraded, and you gave your best opinion of the grade a 7.5, versus a 6.0 already graded, you possibly could get a better return or get a higher sale. So that's one reason how that having a book like that could hurt you if you're looking to resell. If we're talking a non-key book, like the Punisher War Journal, of course, In my opinion, anything lower than 9.8, you're you're not going to get your money out of. You, if you do, good for you. You you probably caught that buyer who is new to the to the comic collecting is and is not or doesn't really care what the grade is, as long as it's in the nine somewhere. But that's possibly a book. You could dump $20, $25 in having graded and not be able to get the money back out of it, even if it hits a 9.6. So that's definitely another consideration to take when sending a book in to have graded. I personally <clears throat> have books graded for all reasons, to flip books, preservation, uh, a lot of time key issue preservation, because those books are definitely, you know, ones you don't want to have destroyed. And also presentation. Maybe I want to hang a book up. Here, let me show you another book that I just love the cover. And it does hold some value. And it's a book I bought at cover price years ago. But Wolverine Origins, number two. Let me see if I can get the glare out of there. Maybe not. Uh, Canadian flag variant. Fantastic. Freaking awesome cover. And the main reason why I had this graded, not to flip, but to preserve and uh, display. So that's another option on having a book graded. This thing is just killer. I had a few of these. Both graded 9.8s. Sold one, kept one. <clears throat> But anyway, guys, I figured I'd just give a few little pointers, a few little uh, uh, things to consider 
I know it wasn't much. Video's gone on for 15 minutes. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by, checking my video out. If you like it, sub me up, hit the like button, leave a comment. Love to hear your guys' opinion, your views, why maybe you would have something graded, why maybe you wouldn't have something graded. Anyway, thanks again. Bad Cave Comics, out.